welcome to this video with Aoife the Mustang who's at the Pennsylvania Mustang Show and we are doing our handling class is what we're coming in to do and this is done in hand no matter if somebody is going to be doing the riding competition or only in hand which I am only doing in hand for a few reasons mostly given that I am pregnant um, so we're gonna be doing this part and it's all about handling and conditioning so the first task here is bringing the horse into the little pen taking the halter off leaving them until the judge gives you a little nod and then going back to re-catch your horse and halter your horse and so you never really know what the pattern is going to be like what tasks you're going to get asked to do in what order you're going to get asked to do them but they're always geared towards basic handling um, that you would expect of a horse and just kind of shows that they've definitely finished that portion of being a tamed horse so here you know I've taken her off the the halter and I'm gonna go out and I always just want to make sure that I'm very gentle try to keep their head tipped towards me a little bit leave the pen and she just kind of walks and looks around at things the pen is not a huge pen so that uh, works out kind of nicely so if somebody has a horse that is a more difficult to catch horse it's pretty easy to do but this is pretty cute you can see Aoife sees me and comes right back over to the gate and waits for me and then I just go over and put my arms around her to do the halter. Sometimes people, when they're doing a rope halter, they kind of whip the end over the horse and it can kind of hit them a little bit. Whereas I prefer to put my arm around the horse and grab the other piece. So it's almost like giving them a little hug. And then I think it's just a little bit nicer for the horse. They don't get hit by the little end of the, the rope that you use to do up the rope halter. And of course I'm using a fusion halter, which is the combo between rope and leather. So it's got the leather cheek pieces, but has the rope behind the ears and over the nose. Because I do think the rope behind the ears and over the nose is really good for trainability, for the horse to understand where the pressure is coming from, when they moved off the pressure, all of those little pieces. So we completed the first step and then now it asked us to trot and trot weave so go through the cones which shows that you can steer your horse and manage their energy which is all really helpful and then to stop at the barrel which she did very nicely and then you pick up the brush and brush your horse which she's normally incredibly good for and I can just have her stand and uh, have her not go anywhere and it was a little bit tricky because there were these little midgy flies I don't know actually what they're called but there were these little bugs and even though I sprayed her with a lot of fly spray even sprayed myself with fly spray she was a little bit head tossy and fidgety so like there she started to move normally she would just completely stand still for me for stuff like that but I think she was just a little irritated with the bugs and kind of moving around a little bit you can see she's shaking a fair bit and even sometimes on the camera you'll see something kind of flutter by the screen and that's one of those little bugs they were just kind of everywhere and I think in part because it had rained so much and everything was so wet and so it was just in general more damp which means the bugs are going to be more out and about and of course warm as well uh, so here picking up the four feet and the shows are all different sometimes you have to walk and trot your horse between brushing or picking up the feet sometimes you're not asked to brush but picking up all four feet is usually always a task and Aoife we have practiced this several times and you always stand perfectly still but here she felt the need to back up and fidget a little bit before I got over to her back foot but you can see she's shaking her head so much at the bugs so I think she was just you know wanting to kind of get moving and get going get doing something because the more you stand still the more the bugs kind of go after you whereas if you get moving they leave you alone a little bit more so it's a little little tricky so not as best as we have done in the past but of course she lets me pick up all four feet and her stop at the barrel was really nice and you can tell she's not like scared of me it's not an issue of her not being tamed or gentled it was just a matter of kind of fidgeting from the spot a little bit and so then we're walking over to the next obstacle which is a pole that we're to side pass the pole and some people only side past one direction uh, for me my horse Aoife she uh, side passes really well both directions so it's super important that I show that we can side pass in both directions and the judge didn't specifically say what we needed to do but if your horse can do something well it's 
really good to show the pieces that they can do well. And if they can't do something well, then sometimes it's better to just avoid it than do something that your horse can't do very well, and then that's what you're getting judged on. And the judge is uh, sitting in the little booth over there at the side. Uh, that's where the announcer is too. And then uh, we have the backup, so it was a stop and a backup. I forget if it was five steps, but they specifically said how many steps that we were supposed to do, so I count the steps as we back up. And then it's over to the trailer, which I was like, oh no, is she going to just go right in? We'll see what happens here. And so she kind of sniffs a little bit and has a moment of kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to go in to this different trailer and kind of backs up and goes to the side a little bit. And I just say, stay patient and persistent, just kind of with the attitude of, you can do this, like this is okay. And then you can see she puts her front feet on and kind of pauses for a second and takes a moment to just kind of think about things because it does move differently, smell differently, all of those things in my trailer. But of course she does end up going all the way in. So it was a little bit of a slower load, not a bad load, but it, is it a perfect score? No, it's not gonna be a perfect score, but it's gonna be a really good score because she goes in calmly and uh, steadily and then she comes off very calmly and slowly to walk out so then now we're just heading out of the arena and that wraps up our handling and conditioning class i'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think of her round what do you think her best parts were and what do you think are the challenges that we got to work on thanks for watching remember to subscribe and check out harmonyhorsemanship.com for even more learning